Hey everyone, welcome back to another live stream from our Beta Shop studio down here in our Beta Palo Alto store. Thanks guys so much for joining me today. I'm your host, Noel, and if you're new here, I wanna welcome you to beta.com. Again, I'm coming to you guys live right now from our store, our Beta Palo Alto location. If you guys happen to be in the area, come on down here to hang out with us and do a little bit of shopping as well. If you're returning here, if you're returning viewer and shopper, welcome back, you guys. Thanks so much for being here with me today. I am so excited to be with you guys because not only am I going to introduce you to the next generation of sound, guys, this speaker here, the Cell Alpha from the company Sing, I'm actually going to be unboxing it here. Um, if you couldn't tell, I have this beautiful cardboard box here just waiting to be opened. Now, this speaker is inside of the box right now. And like I said, I'm going to unbox it and kind of show you just how cool the packaging is here for the Sing Cell Alpha alpha speaker. Guys, look at this speaker. If this is the first time that you've seen it, I mean, isn't it so futuristic and kind of like space AG looking? I mean, it's so, so innovative and futuristic. And the unboxing, the, the material here that's used in the packaging is no exception to that. This is such an innovative speaker. It actually just landed on Time Magazine's Top 100 Innovations of 2021. Now, it's really no surprise because the uh, the designer behind the Cell Alpha speaker is Chris Stringer. He was a, an industrial designer over at Apple for over 20 years and really helped in the design and the development of the iPhone, the iPad. I mean, you name it, he's touched it. And, and really, he's brought all of that expertise and all of that knowledge and that incredible design eye to sing in the form of the Cell Alpha speaker. Now, let me tell you guys what makes Cell Alpha so unique. Not only is the aesthetic here just so uh, so different and, and so cool, but actually, guys, this is the world's first triphonic speaker. Yeah, triphonic. Now, I mean, you probably don't know exactly what that means. You're maybe thinking to yourself, no, I've never heard that word before. Yeah, I hadn't either. But what it means essentially is that uh, this speaker creates 3D sound. And it's really not hard to see why when you kind of look internally at the speaker, we have three drivers here that sort of output sound in all directions. So it's kind of an omnidirectional uh, speaker. And so it really does kind of fill precisely project sound to the uh, to fill the exact dimensions of a given space. And like you think about 3D visuals, how you feel super immersed in those visuals in that environment. Well, this speaker does the same thing. You feel like you are like in in the music. I don't even know really how to describe it, you guys, but it is unlike anything I've ever experienced before. So not only do we have these three drivers here, uh, but we also have a woofer here on the top and on the bottom. And these are sort of configured very intentionally in this opposing uh, yet force balanced configuration. And what that does is it really helps to kind of create this very well balanced, rich, full sound. Um, it's, it's so, so cool. You guys can actually come on down here to our Palo Alto location. We've got a couple of these sitting on our floor and our beta testers would love nothing more than to watch your mind be blown when they play music on the Cell Alpha speaker. Now, I mentioned that we have more than one down here on the floor. That's right, you guys. You can pair up to four cells at once in a given space. So really what the, the Cell Alpha speaker is meant to uh, be played, not only individually, but also um, you know, with, with multiple cells at once to really give you kind of that surround sound, that fullness of sound. This is what uh, Sing calls super spatial sound. So like I said, four cells at once, you can pair it together. And it really creates this enveloping experience, uh, super immersive, like you're, like you're just a part of the music. I don't, again, I don't know how to describe it, but really this gets to the heart of Sing's mission, which is to blur the lines between the artist and the listener. Um, guys, it is just unlike any other experience, uh, listening experience that you know I've, I've personally had. And uh, not only that, but the unboxing experience here is the same thing. It's gonna feel so cool, like, like nothing that you've ever, seen before like no other product you've ever unboxed before and that's why i am stoked to be here today to have it boxed up on the set here i'm gonna dig into it um in just a second and actually assemble it here so this is what it looks like fully assembled i wanted to kind of show you guys what it looks like so that if you've never seen it before 
Here it is in all its glory. It's beautiful. We have it on this table stand here. It also comes with a floor stand. You can choose between the table stand or the floor stand, depending on how you want it to sit in your home or you know how it best works in your space. Whatever you want, you can choose it. And guys, check out this graphic I have here behind me tool too. Again, this is that woofer there on the top, like I said, and those three drivers on the side. It is truly a work of art and I mean, the, the packaging is a work of art too. So let's go ahead and dive in, you guys. I'm so excited um, to, to unbox it and to set it up. And I'm also gonna be telling you a little bit more about these sound specs and whatnot, because I know that that's something that's really important, especially, especially to you audiophiles out there. You wanna know, okay, what is the quality of sound that I'm gonna get out of my speaker? We're gonna touch on that too. Okay, but first, <laughs> We gotta, get, we gotta get started, we gotta unbox this thing. So here we have kind of the box, the, the packaging that it comes in, the shipping box that it comes in. And check this out. Um, you can see that it's kind of a nondescript box. You might, it might arrive and you might think, huh, I wonder what that is exactly. It is your SingCell Alpha. And guys, this cardboard box is going to protect all of the layers of, of packaging and the speaker itself that are inside. So you'll see once we unbox it, it's sort of encased in multiple layers that are so fun. It's like um, if you guys have ever opened a Christmas present that like is in a box, in a box, in a box, it's like that where you just keep removing these layers and it's like gets more and more exciting. It's this built up, uh, this build up to uh, the kind of prized possession in the middle of the box. So we start here with this, uh, with this cardboard box. It's recycled cardboard, so very sustainable. All the packaging here, very, very sustainable. Sing has done that really intentionally. Guys, this box is meant to endure global travel. So any sort of shipping, uh, you know, whether you're, you're shipping it internationally, wherever it's coming to you from, uh, this outer layer, this cardboard box is really gonna keep it nice and protected. Now I wanna show you, it's definitely heavy. The majority of the weight is here on the bottom and that's again done very intentionally. They want, Sing wants it to be kept upright and again protected because you really never know you, you never know exactly how it's going to get to you what kind of climates it's going to pass through whose hands it's going to pass through and so not only do we have the sim symbols here you know keep it dry keep it uh, protected it is a fragile item but also they've gone to great lengths and great measures to make sure that it is protected so regardless of you know if it passes through um some colder weather, some warmer weather, uh, if, if it happens to encounter moisture, that there, all of the packaging here is protecting this beauty, beautiful speaker. Okay, so here we go. I've got my box cutters here. Let's give it, get a top-down view. I'll kind of center the box here for you guys. This way, there we go. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited to get in here. So we're opening it from the top. And I know that it's the top because there's little arrows on the side of the box. Where did those arrows go? Right here, let me show you. There's arrows right there, yep. Right on the top there. So we know that it's this side up. And again, you can feel the weight in the bottom. And that's done very intentionally so that it stays upright. All righty, here we go, okay. All right, more cardboard. Again, very protective here. So I'm gonna remove that layer. Okay, so here we have this beautiful, I mean, I don't need, this is like, this is what I mean by futuristic, you guys. I mean, does this not look like the future? It is the future. We are looking into the future right now. This is part one uh, of the unboxing experience. Uh, we have this sort of silver bag, um, and we also have, Guys, if we I'll show you the top down here, we have these tabs on the side here. These are lift tabs. They say lift. And so I'm gonna lift it and I might need a little bit of assistance here to get it out of the box. So Quinn, our beta tester is gonna come over here and give me a hand. Thanks so much, Quinn. Hello. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Good, how are you? Good, all right. Can you hang on to the box? I can, and I'm yes. gonna lift and you know what? Let's see if we can get. No, I think it might be a little bit easier on the ground. Guys, right. we're gonna shift here a second. Let's put it right here on the ground. You guys can see this? Okay, good. We've got a good angle because I want you guys to see. Quinn, if you can hold that box down for me. There we go. There it is, you guys. Wonderful. These lift tabs make it so, so easy 
to pull it out. Thanks so much, Quinn. And actually, I'll <laughs> keep that box. Thank you very much. All righty, so I'm gonna keep the box down here uh, to kind of keep all of our, again, the packaging here, sustainable, recyclable. So I'm gonna keep all the packaging together so that I can recycle it later on. But you guys saw we had these lift tabs here. This is what I use to take the speaker out of the box. Now again, you might need a friend to help you out. Um, it really isn't, it's the lifting. It is a heavy speaker, but you can, I mean, if I can do it, you guys, you can do it too. Uh, the only thing you might need help with is having someone stabilize the box while you lift it out. But again, very easy to do on your own. This whole process you can do on your own. And we're gonna get into uh, the next piece of it, uh, which is to actually take it out of this bag. Now this is sort of a, oh my gosh. I mean, it's so, so here we have kind of a Ziploc on top. I wanna make sure that this is centered so that you guys can see this. We have a Ziploc on top here. Uh, we lifted it out with these with these clear tabs. Again, these are these are all around the actual speaker, um, and then we have this bag. Now, this is the next layer. So remember, I said this is very multi-layered. Again, this bag here um, is going to help to kind of protect the actual speaker. If any sort of con condensation, any moisture gets in the box, uh, this is going to be kind of a protective layer for that. Okay. Here we go. Kind of move these tabs over to the side here. And like I said, this is, <laughs> this is uh, like a Ziploc, kind of like a, just kind of zips up. And here we go, guys. We're getting into it now, guys. Check this out, I love this. It's like, remember like I said, it's like, it's like a box within a box within a box. I mean, there's so many layers here but it's so fun it's so cool to like check this out i'm gonna pull the uh the wrapping here this silver bag all the way down okay let's stop here for a second because i just want to take a minute to like i mean i don't need this 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 is so cool how cool is this? Okay, so what we have here is is we've got six cardboard panels. We have one on the top, four on the sides here, and then one on the bottom. So that's six total. And what these are doing, they're actually, um, they, they're uh, kind of joined together here by pull tabs. So that's how they're, they're staying together. And guys, these are protecting the speaker. So this is the next layer of protection. And these really are, keeping the speaker nice and protected and stabilized. Guys, check this out. Look at the front here. Look at this. There's sort of these concentric circles on the front, these cardboard panels um, that kind of mimics a 3D sound wave, which is really cool. Uh, very intentional, I gotta say. Like, I have to believe that it, this was de designed very intentionally, intentionally to mimic that sound wave. Um, and, and not only that, again, recyclable, sustain, recycled uh, cardboard, sustainable packaging, and again, creating kind of this like structure that's keeping everything nice and stabilized. All right, I think we're ready to kind of pull off these tabs here and get into the next layer of the unboxing. So let's, let's show you guys the top down here. You guys can see the top of this. Again, these concentric circles here. So cool. Um, we have six of these. Uh, these are better than styrofoam too because again, they, they add more uh, stabilization here, but they're still lightweight. They're still very light, just like styrofoam. So check out the pull tabs. Again, this is how they're all staying together. So you're just gonna take the tab. I'll do a slow motion, just like that. Same here on the other side. Let me push it forward so you guys can see. I'll do it from this side. All right, so that is the top. That is the top here. Okay, so the top is conjoined here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take, we're gonna do all of the tabs here. And basically what this is gonna, uh, what this is gonna do is we're gonna like, essentially we are going to um, like unveil the, the speaker that's in here. So I'm just taking these pull tabs and running them down the side. Quinn, actually, if you want to come back in here, I'll have you help me out because there's quite a few of these pull tabs here. Yes. 
So come on in here and help me. Let's move this so you can. So we've got the pull tabs here. I'll do the ones on the side. Great. Perfect. This one, I lost it a little bit. Okay. Oh my gosh. You got the ones on the sides there? Perfect. I mean, this is just, this is unlike any other product I've ever unboxed. What I think is really great about this too, again, you guys, it's not only the design here, but it's also really about, uh, you know, protecting the actual speaker. And guys, watch this. Actually, let's go ahead and lift this. Quinn, I'll have you take that bag. Thank you so much. There we go. All right, watch this, guys. <gasps> look at that how cool is that oh my gosh okay and we've got a couple of more here on the bottom so we're almost there just two more let me take these two off the side now what's really nice about this too you might initially be like how do i do i need to pull out the scissors how do i you don't need scissors you don't need anything to cut this open because we have those uh, pull tabs there and once you've pulled all of them off ta-da okay guys this is like i said this is the prize the jewel in the center of all of that boxing all of that packaging. Now, again, all of this is recycled, uh, is, can be recycled. So I'm gonna put it in the box here next to me so that I can remember to, to recycle it. I am gonna keep this part sort of stabilized at the moment, right here like this. Guys, check this out. This, this is this speaker here to my left, but look at how it's like, so nicely packaged in this kind of shiny silver, like a plastic wrap almost, that's like airtight to the actual speaker. And again, this is, uh, this is what we're gonna unwrap in just a second after we uh, kind of build the base here, the, the floor, uh, excuse me, the table stand. We're gonna build the table stand and um, that is, yeah, Look at how great that looks. Isn't that fantastic? Alrighty, so I'm really excited to get into this next part. Actually, can we get a ta yeah, top down? Perfect, you read my mind there. Okay, so we are gonna get into the actual table stand. So the table stand comes in a separate box here in its own box and it, it'll say on the front whether it's the table stand or the floor stand and like I said you can choose whichever stand you want for whichever you know area of your home you're going to put your Sing Cell Alpha speaker in. Now let me create a little bit more room here. I'm going to actually move the speaker to this panel and kind of use this space here, this elevated space to actually open up the box. And what's cool about this is that you kind of keep the, the cell here all wrapped up. Uh, it's, it's, it's great because if you're touching it at all, like if you need to touch it, you're not getting your fingerprints on the actual globe part of the speaker. Guys, I, I don't know about you, but like this is giving me disco vibes at the moment. And I mean, it's really actually very appropriate because it's a speaker. Um, cool. So I don't know. It's so funny. Like some people say spaceship. I say disco ball. I'm going to go with disco ball. Okay. But let's get into actually building the, the table stand and placing it onto our speaker so that the end result will look just like this. And I'll have two cells here, one to my left, one to my right, that I can pair again together uh, using the Sing Space app. You guys, if you didn't know, there's an app integration here that's so cool. The app graphics are just as stunning as this speaker. Okay, so here we go. Time for the stand. Let me show you guys what's in this box. Alrighty, so some instruction to, instructions here. This will be really good for me to follow along because there is, it's a very uh, simple uh, process here. You can see there's what, five steps? I mean, the sixth step is to actually kind of set it up. Let me set it this way so you guys can see all that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six steps here. And all of the steps also have, uh, uh, are written out. So you can see it here on, on the right side 
we have all the steps written out, but then on the left side you have the visualization so that if you need, you know, if you can if you can do it yourself and you don't necessarily need to read the instructions, it's very, very easy to just follow along here to the graphics. Um, so yeah, very simple. Now on the top here we get kind of a list of all the things that, that come in this box. So of course you're gonna have your cell alpha, which we have here. We have a tube, a base a cable stand and a power cord. And the power cord is how you power up your cell alpha. Okay, I love that you get this illustration too of how to put it all together. Guys, I am one of those people who I love to jump the gun. I often don't read instructions. And so it's really great when there's this kind of breakdown um, that I can look at and know, okay, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna thread the, the cable here into the speaker. And then we're gonna twist the tube onto the speaker. Then we're gonna twist the base here onto the tube. And then last but not least, we're gonna take the cable stop and put it in the bottom. I can see that. I don't even have to read all of this. I can tell that that's the pro progression of steps there. I love this. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside for reference. I'll have it right here next to me. So here is the cable. Here we are. Okay, and this is our first step. So we're gonna plug it in. And again, check out how I kind of have the cell cradled here. Uh, again, this packaging is, is, is specific to kind of the entire unboxing and setup assembly process. Uh, make sure that you're cradling, you have this on top of one of the panels here um, so that it will be stabilized and good to go for the setup of the actual uh, speaker. There we go, plugging that in. Okay, so we're all plugged in there. What else do we have? We're gonna have the base. Again, lots of cardboard, uh, recycled uh, cardboard here that we're gonna recycle again, thinking about sustainability. Okay, I think this is the tube. Let's see if I'm correct. Yes. Here is the tube. And the tube is step two. So see, I'm, I'm, I'm unboxing it in the order in which it gets uh, it gets assembled, so I love that as well. And you know, actually, I gotta thread this through the back of this first. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the base out too. I, I jumped ahead. See, I told you guys, I'm an, I'm eager when it comes to getting my product set up. Like, if I get a cool product in the mail, I am like. Well, let me dive in here. Okay, patience, Noel. Patience, patience. All right, so we're taking out the base here. The base is what really gives it weight. And what's nice about a, about a heavier base is that you know, right, that this is going to be stabilized. The speaker here is going to be totally stabilized because this base is so heavy, it's going to keep it nice and weighed down on whatever surface you have it on top of. So we're going to take the cable and kind of thread it through the base first goes through the base. I'm going to set the base down here. Then we are going to thread it through the tube. And then we're going to plug this in again here, just like I did. Yep, there we go. Okay, and then now it's time to just join all of the parts together. Kind of screwing them in just like a light bulb. Just like a light bulb, kind of getting it on stabilized. Give me a second here, guys. How many Noels does it take, right? <laughs> Just one, hopefully. Um, okay, so screwing that in. So we've got our, our, our tube there, and then we're also gonna kind of thread through the rest of the cable, nice and carefully, nice and gently. Again, this is a very uh, beautiful speaker. You wanna be really careful and gentle with it. Move this over here. Okay, and now it's time to get the base onto the speaker. You make sure to find the exact point at which it starts to, there we go. Cool. Yep. There we go. Just kind of spinning it like a wheel here. It's getting, uh, gonna get tight in a second. We wanna make sure that it's nice and tight. 
All right, you guys. And then the last piece of this is that little sort of rubber piece. We'll see if we have that in here. Okay, so we're actually good to, this is it. This is the final, uh, the final kind of table stand. Now what I can do is I can get rid of all these little pieces of the cardboard here. Okay, so it's time to stand it up. So I'm gonna put the, the cord there. Let's make sure everything is nice and secure. There we go. We did it, you guys. How fun was that unboxing experience? Seriously? Now the last piece here is to unwrap it. And Quinn, I'm gonna call you back in here to help me unwrap the cell alpha. Yes. <laughs> Peeling apart all of these layers that have been protecting the speaker. I think it sounds wonderful as well. It does. It's very <laughs> ASMR. Very ASMR. Ooh, guys. And what's great is that you don't even have to touch it. You can just peel it all apart like this. Just take and peel it. Mm. Chris. Thank you, Quinn. Is that it? That's it. That's it. I'm going to keep this in my packaging. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Guys. Here we have it, the finished assembled Cell Alpha from the company Sing. You guys can click that buy now button to get yours today. How beautiful is this speaker? Now yours is gonna come packaged just the way that you saw uh, mine packaged and you're gonna be so excited when you take it all out. It's such a fun unboxing experience. Thank you so much for joining me here today for this live stream and I will see you guys again very soon. Until then, I'm gonna bump some jams. See you next time, bye.